Things are not any better at the airport, Brian. Mm. We have been telling you all week about travel trouble at DIA with hundreds of delays and cancellations, and today, the blame game. Denver Center's Christian Lopez was at DIA today and spoke to passengers who've had their 4th of July plans grounded. DIA says Saturday is not expected to be as bad as the last couple of days, but there have still been plenty of delays and cancellations. It's frustrating. Tamara Littrich says she and her friends planned a hiking trip in Colorado for the 4th of July weekend. We are all meeting from different places. But they've all been impacted by flight delays and cancellations across the country. There's always situations, but this one is like, it, I, I would have to say, it's one of the worst with United. On top of that, Tamara says her luggage was lost. You could wait in line for an hour and there's one person behind the counter. And so it's been kind of a disaster. In a statement, DIA told us they understand the inconvenience this all causes. When delays or cancellations happen, they say it's their role to support passengers and help maintain efficient operations. Since Sunday, United passengers at DIA have faced over 700 cancellations and nearly 1,500 delays. That's according to FlightAware data. Tamara says she's still hopeful her friends will be able to make their trip. It's all still up in the air right now. Even though things were a little less crowded Saturday, the airport expects to see another 70,000 passengers on Sunday. United needs to really do something for the customers because this is ridiculous. DIA says they expect to see around 550,000 passengers over the course of the 4th of July weekend. Their biggest advice, check your flight status with your airline ahead of time and get here at least two hours before your boarding time. Reporting from DIA, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7.